Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So before we hop into our thrifting video, I wanted to share with you all that I received a Terralax foot massager. And I have to say guys, this massager is so cool. I wanted to share it with you all. I received it here and I'm showing you how you power it on and you can see how it looks just on. And uh, I have to say it is so awesome. There are several modes that you can choose from. And when you turn it on, it automatically goes into like um, a auto mode. And that one has um, different speeds and everything. And you can see how the massagers are working. So sometimes it'll go a little bit faster, then it'll go a little bit slower. So, and it also has a timer on here so you can see how long it's been going for. And when you turn it on, I think it starts at automatic 15 minutes. So uh, then from there, I'm showing you that the sides unzip so that you can actually clean it, which is awesome. And this is a foot and calf massager, but also you can use it for your forearm. You can see I have my arm placed in there and guys, it feels amazing. At first I thought it would be kind of weird putting my arm in a foot massager, but when I did it, I was like, okay, I could totally get with this <laughs> it was really really awesome so um yeah that was pretty cool that it can do that you can put both your arms in to enjoy the massage and then of course now i'm going to go ahead and try it with my feet and guys oh my goodness it felt so good and it was so relaxing i absolutely enjoyed it now, if you guys are interested in this product, I will have it linked in my description box down below where you can find the link to the product and a discount code as well. So I should mention that this foot massager does include a um, remote control. It did not have batteries with it and I don't have the little flat batteries that required for the remote control. But so I just press the buttons on the machine. When you plug it up and power it on, it automatic. when you plug it up, it automatically like beeps at you. So you'll know that it's receiving power. And then you just press the on off button to turn it on. And then you select which option you would like as it relates to the massage. Um, so there's different modes. I think there's three different modes that you can switch from, which is mode one, two, and three. Um, and as you can see here, it does have an LED lit uh, screen that shows you uh, how much time is on the foot massager. So you can, um, you know, know how long you can set it and know that you're going to get a 15 minute massage or a 25 minute massage or however. Um, and then you can set your time manually if you like also. The massager also does have a heating function. So you can um, add heat to your massage if you like. Me personally, I probably won't ever really use that, but I might give it a try. It's also awesome that this foot massager is lightweight and portable, so you can move it throughout your home or take it with you if you're going on a trip or something like that. Guys, this will be a perfect gift. Christmas time is coming. And yeah, I'm so glad I have one already. And who knows, someone in my family might be getting one as well. I should also mention that in the instruction manual, it does tell you um, like some frequently asked questions like when should you use a massager? Um, can anyone use a massager? What are the benefits of a foot massage? So there's lots of information in the little packet that's included, but it also says that if you use medical devices such as a pacemaker or you have other implanted electronic devices, or if you have um, heart or lung problems, then you may want to check with your medical provider before using this foot massager. Or if you're pregnant or if you have other uh, circulatory issues or any other medical concerns, be sure to check with your healthcare provider before trying out this product. So my husband and my son were out and that gave me some quiet time for myself, which is a rarity. So I decided to take a little time to relax and have a foot massage and enjoy a cup of tea while perusing through a magazine in my quiet space and I truly enjoyed it. Now you guys know I have my little guy and of course he was like, ooh, what's that? I wanna try it. So I thought, you know what? That's perfectly fine. I will let him try it. So my seven year old is getting a foot massage and he was like, wow, this is amazing. Actually, he said, this is awesome. <laughs> he thought it was really cool. 
and he he's never had like a foot massage like this you know of course I will rub his feet for him sometimes um, but never like in a foot massager so he thought it was really awesome and then he decided he wanted to take his socks off so he could really give it a try and so yeah he's got his little toesies out enjoying the foot massage and he's just moving his feet around in it so he can really feel how I was doing the massage and I thought that was really cool that he was interested in it and I think it's awesome that even as a little kid he can enjoy a foot massage. Then he decided he wanted to try it on his legs as well and so yeah he's just sitting here enjoying the massager all together and I said Addison how does it feel and he was like it's so cool. <laughs> so I asked him, was it tight on his legs? He was like, no, it tickles. <laughs> so he thought it was pretty awesome. And I'm sure he'll be trying to use it as often or more than I will. And while we're trying it out, of course, then he says, okay, can I put my hands in it? And I thought, sure, you can, because there's no, none of the parts, um, are in, in a way in any way can hurt him so I let him put his hands in there so he can really feel um, all of the knobs and everything moving around so you can see he's just kind of moving his hands all around feeling uh, the massager and he's like it's really awesome so yeah he's enjoying it it's a lot of fun and I think this is an item that our entire family will enjoy Okay guys, so now we're heading out to the Goodwill. I am looking for a few items in particular. So I just wanna see what they have and I thought I'd show you guys around in the store. And you can see this Goodwill has a huge selection of lamps and other light fixtures. And some of them are really, really cool. I was so tempted, but I do not need another lamp. Well, actually I do, but <laughs> um, I didn't get any lamps, but I did want to just show you guys some of the items that they have. And guys, this Goodwill has so many Tuscan decor items. I was like, oh my goodness, I am in the right place at the right time. But some of them were kind of pricey. As you can see, that piece was $14.99. And I thought that was just too much. Even though it's very large fleur-de-lis piece, um, and it was quite heavy. It was just more than I wanted to pay. And that one's pretty cool. It was $10.99 or $10. That item is really nice as well. And it was also $10. So, you know, the prices were not the best. But, you know, with the Goodwill, sometimes you can really score big. And sometimes it's a little overpriced. So, you know, it's just the luck of the draw. You have to just keep going until you find what you like.
Now, do you guys remember when we used to use curtain swags? Like um, everyone had a little swag, the sheer fabric swag, and you use these little corbels to hold the swag back. That's exactly what this is. And um, the box was all taped up. It was $8. So I opened it because I wanted to see what was in it and make sure they weren't broken. And they were not, they were basically brand new still. So, and they had um, some crosses. You guys know I love crosses. And I actually have this cross at home already. It was $2.99 and I didn't take it because I already have one, but that one's a little bit larger than mine. But I thought also that was cool, this little tree. I didn't like the colors on that side, so that's why I had it flipped over on the other side because I did consider taking it home with me. Um, it was $2.99. Um, so I just kind of laid out some items that I saw as I was finding them so that I could decide if I wanted them or not. That's like a little trivet. It was also $2.99 and I thought it was nice as well. Then panning over here to the next table of these items that I laid out, I thought this mirror was gorgeous. It was so heavy. The only problem with it is that it was small. I didn't like how small it was and they had it listed for $5 and I seriously, seriously considered taking it, but it was just, I didn't think it was large enough to, for me to even take it and then I'd end up probably donating it back to the Goodwill later because I probably wouldn't use it. Um, but that's the matching piece to that, which I should have taken those because afterwards I thought, oh, I could have put those like outside and, um, you know, in the garden or just like on the wall leading up to our house, but I didn't, I left them. <laughs> um, and then they had this beautiful plate and it was so heavy guys. That plate was so heavy. It's like a stone plate or something. It was $8 for it. Uh, so gorgeous. Definitely Tuscan vibes. All of these items are just giving me all the Tuscan inspiration. Now this little book was really cool. It was actually a real book that someone did some kind of finish on it like that to make the pages look antiqued and to make it look like glossed or whatever. It was so interesting. It was really an interesting piece. It was $2 and I didn't take it because, you know, I just, this, I don't need it, but I thought it was really cool that someone created that. And this tray, guys, I rode around with this tray in my cart for the entire time in the store. And ultimately I decided to leave it. And of course now I'm looking back at it thinking, should have taken that piece it was absolutely gorgeous it was so pretty the center of it was like leather um they had it for ten dollars which wasn't too bad of a price considering some of the other stuff they had priced fairly expensively but i didn't take it i don't know why i didn't i guess because i just Right now, I'm not decorating with Tuscan in my home, which you guys know, I still love Tuscan inspired decor items. Um, and so when I see them, I generally take them, but I just didn't that time. So here's what is in my cart. I did pick up these bamboo trays and they have like a lacquer finish on it um, with black on the bottom half. So each one I think is $1.99. And they're like nesting trays. So there's three different sizes. So I'm showing you guys those. And look, as I was putting everything out, this lady kept coming by looking at everything. And I was like, wait, these are my items. I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna take and what I'm not yet. But I've picked all these up for me to see. And so she was like, oh, okay. But everything's so pretty. And I was like, yeah, I know, but you can't get it yet because I'm still trying to decide. <laughs> so here I've decided to include a few pictures of the items that I did actually purchase that I did showcase in my fall decorating videos and my bookcase video. So be sure to check those out if you missed it. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell. For my faithful family members, you all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.